few hours after the big decision from Israel's Supreme Court, and the center of the action came here, to the ultra-Orthodox Har Nof neighborhood in Jerusalem, where behind me is the home of Minister Arya Derry, the leader of the ultra-Orthodox Shas party. Hundreds of protesters gathered here in support of Derry. He later came out and saw his supporters on his way to his car and also met with a number of politicians and dignitaries, leading rabbis of the Shas movement, and Derry had this to say. When I heard the High Court decision today, which was not unexpected, I was happy. There's no joy like the joy of resolution of doubts. It's good that they said what they said, and it's good that it ended like this, 10 against 1. The people will judge and see. I won't go into the thick of it now. I'll have time to express myself later on. We do not have the luxury of thinking personal thoughts. This is our mission, and we will do it forcefully. They will close the door on us. We will enter through the window. They will close the window for us. We will break through the ceiling with God's help. All of the commotion here came following the decision at 4 o'clock in the afternoon local time on this Wednesday by Israel's Supreme Court to disqualify Derry from serving as a minister in the government because of his previous criminal convictions, saying that the decision was extremely unreasonable or criticizing Derry for, as they saw, as some of the judges saw it, misleading a lower court in saying in his plea bargain that he would not re-enter politics. At any rate, the decision seemed to throw Israel's political system into chaos. At first, there was suspicion that Derry might not agree to comply with the court decision, might not agree to resign, that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu might not agree to fire him. At this hour, the consensus is, and the implication for Derry's own statement is, that he, they will comply with the decision, both he and Prime Minister Netanyahu, and instead, possibly, the government might move on to try to change the rules and laws so that Derry could potentially come back over time. At any rate, that's going to be a tricky decision, strategically and tactically for the government, how much to push forward on an issue that, in the wider Israeli public opinion is unpopular. Poll after poll shows that the majority of the Israeli public does not think it's proper for Derry to serve as a minister, including many right-wing voters. But of course, that was not the opinion here on the streets of Harnof, where protesters had this to say. I came from Bnei Brak. I have left my family, everything, to support the head of the movement. I think it is a personal chase. There is no reason to fire a person who is doing so much. In the days he was Minister of Health, we even seen his revolutionary actions as a minister, how many good things he brought, and only he can do such things. So we came to support him, and I think the whole of Israel, those who came and those who didn't, and there are a lot of people around the country, and if there is a need to go to the streets, we will do it. We don't agree with the situation the way it is. The population supports him and has voted for him. Half a million people haven't just did that for no reason. They knew what they were doing. They knew everything from the beginning. We support Rabbi Arya Derry, and that is why so many rabbis came from Tel Aviv and other cities. There is no doubt he should be a minister. A story set to develop in the weeks or months ahead. For now, Owen Alterman, I-24 News, Jerusalem.